Hi, this is Mrs. Arati. I'm so glad you're here with me today. We're going to be talking about feeling words. And I know you read What About Bear already, but we're going to be looking at the pictures in What About Bear and talking about feelings. What Bear and Goose and Fox are feeling in the pictures. So let's look and it says, let's play. And Bear and Goose are getting into the toy box to play. Let's look at the pictures on the next page. And let's see what Bear and Goose are doing. They're playing with puppets. Now I'm gonna look at their faces. Bear and Goose, they look excited, don't they? They're excited to be playing with the puppets together. And excited is a feeling word, friends. And I'm going to turn to another page and we're gonna look at some more pictures in What About Bear. Let's keep going. All the way to page 18. All right. Now the words say, what about Bear? Bear is too grumpy. Now we also want to look at the pictures. Bear is grumpy. That is a feeling word. But friends, do we also see that Bear looks sad? I think so. Bear does look a little bit sad. So sad is also a feeling word. All right. And what about Bear? We saw a lot of pictures there that were talking about feelings. And those are words that describe how someone feels. So we're going to be talking about words and I'm going to have you clap if you hear a word that is a feeling word. If it's not a feeling word, don't clap. Okay, so I'm going to say a word. Let's practice together first. Excited. Yes, excited is a feeling word. Let's do another one. Are you ready? Sad. Is sad a feeling word? Yes. I hope you clapped your hands for that one. Sad is a feeling word. Next word is boy. Is boy a feeling word? No, so don't clap. Boy is not a feeling word. Run. Is run a feeling word? No, run is not a feeling word. That is something that you can do. Shy. Is shy a feeling word? Yes, I hope you clapped your hands because shy is a feeling word. Happy. Is happy a feeling word? Yes, I hope you clapped your hands for happy. That's a feeling word. Let's do another one. Grumpy. Is grumpy a feeling word? Yes, it is a feeling word. I hope you clapped your hands for grumpy. All right, let's do one more. Listen. Is listen a feeling word? No. Listen is not a feeling word. Okay, one more, our last one. Mad. Is mad a feeling word? Yes, mad is a feeling word. I hope you clapped for that one. Okay, now friends, next I'm going to be doing the Your Turn practice page with you and we're gonna be looking at pictures together and seeing who is showing a feeling word. So join me next on page 33 in your Your Turn practice page and we'll work on it together. I'll see you then. All right, let's look at page 33 in our Your Turn practice book. And we're going to be looking at each picture and putting a circle on the picture if it shows a feeling. So let's look at the apple row and the first picture here. Let's look at that little boy. 
What do you think he's feeling right now? Yes, I think he's mad or grumpy. It is showing a feeling. So we're gonna put a circle around the little boy. Go ahead and put your circle. Let's go on to the next picture. This little boy has a tear coming down from his eye and his mouth is sad. So this little boy looks like he's very sad. Sad is a feeling. Let's go ahead and put a circle around the little boy. Okay, let's look at this picture. This is a picture of a mirror, a hand mirror that you hold. Is that showing a feeling? Right, that is not showing a feeling, that's showing an object or something that you use, so it's not showing a feeling. Let's go to the star row. Let's look at the first picture. That is a picture of a top. A top spins around on the floor. Is that showing a feeling? You're right, that is not showing a feeling. So that one we're not going to circle. Let's go to the next one. That little girl is smiling. She looks what? Happy, yeah, she looks very happy. And happy is a feeling. So we're going to put a circle around the little girl. All right, let's move to the next picture. Let's look at that little boy. He looks surprised or shocked. Is that showing a feeling? Yes. Surprise is a feeling or shocked is a feeling. You could even say he's feeling scared. Maybe something scared him. That is a feeling. So we are going to put a circle around the boy. Okay. Let's go to the next one with the Christmas tree. Let's look at the first picture. A little girl has her arms way up high and she has a big smile on her face. She looks what? What do you think? Yes, she looks excited. Excited is a feeling. So we are going to put a circle. Put your circle around the girl. All right, let's look at the next picture of a mask. Is the mask showing a feeling? Right, that is not showing a feeling, so we're not going to circle that one. Now we're going to look at the last picture here. This boy, he looks maybe a little bit confused. Is confused a feeling? Yes, it is. So we're going to circle that picture of the little boy. All right, friends, we circled all the pictures that showed someone having feelings. And usually when you look at someone's face, that will give you a clue on how they're feeling. Great job today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.